Right, here we are, just uh, making sure we've still got uh, Ansible, so... Um, oh, there's the beastie. I uh, just want to check a few things like uh, networking. Um, what have we got? Yeah, that's that uh, MP0S3. I've bridged that. That's gone to my local LAN. That's fine. Just make sure I can actually get out to my local LAN. So, ping my gateway. Classic. That's working. Excellent. Right, good. So, looks like networks work. Uh, Ansible works. So, let's go and change one of the Ansible files so we can work with it so you can see it doing something reasonably basic. Here we go. So, we're going to go in and sudo nano slash etc slash Ansible. Should use tab key. It's easy, isn't it? Keep forgetting that. Oh. And there we are. So into the host file slash exist slash Ansible slash host. It says at the top. Uh, what you can see here, I've got uh, a field setting called my example. This is like a group, and there's a group of servers. And the servers I've listed in here are 192.168.1.81, 82, and 83. They are in fact uh, a group of Raspberry Pi uh, devices. So you could say they're servers. They're certainly um, um, there's certainly SSH servers, which is what we're going to use to test connectivity uh, and prove Ansible working. Um, and they're actually actually going to be used for the purposes of providing um, open flow switches. Uh, that's what I've configured them for, but uh, that's uh, for another day. So anyway, uh, that's just a hash, that's fine. Uh, we've got three devices, could of course use domain names if we've got DNS, but chose IP addresses instead. Okay, yes to that, so it's Control X and yes, that file is set. Okay, so we want to test, and one of the simple things you can do with an Ansible is we can test groups, we can test, actually we can test all, so we can test the whole of the entries, all of the entries that are in that host file. So here, all of the groups. I can test a specific group, and that specific group, of course, is the my example group. Um, I'm actually going to do a ping. So this is the operation, a ping, and we're going to do this out against a set of users, and the users are all Pi, Raspberry Pi. Yep. But I'm going to get it to ask for the password. Because otherwise, uh, this will vanish. If you try it without the password, let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Unreachable, unreachable, unreachable. Notice it's tested all three devices, um, and it's failed to connect to those because pub, uh, permission denied, public key or password. So let's do the minus K option and get the password request. There it is. So I put the password in, and, and assume, of course, the password is the same for each of them. Then what we'll find is there we go a success absolutely fantastic great stuff so um, in terms of um, what's actually happened out there let's see if uh, we've got Wireshark running we have good we're looking on that particular interface of course so let's start on there and let's have a look at the SSH traffic that's taking place on this connection so if we repeat the exercise just put that window there and put that window there and if we repeat the exercise for Ansible, what we should see is some activity going on. Ooh, we need a password. Let's see. Bush, there we go. SSH traffic like you wouldn't believe. So we're actually using SSH for the purposes of ping. And as it says, we've sent our pings and we've got our pongs. And that's a tested connection. But you'll notice it's against all three of those IP addresses. So we're testing out 81, uh, sorry, 82, 81, uh, somewhere in that list, and 83. Okay, all uh, going backwards and forwards from 218, where 218, of course, is the server that we're operating on. Now, I didn't install Ansible on any of the other servers. This is one of the great things about Ansible. I only installed Ansible on the one server, the Ubuntu server, the 218 address. So it's effectively using a set of existing tool sets in order to be able to then manage those uh, remote devices. So that's the sort of beauty of Ansible. You only have to do the install on one node 
and then it should be sort of standard practice out there but standard practice against a group of servers from one set of commands so we can script this of course and we can script this against different groups of servers uh, we can have different scripts for different servers uh, and uh, oh, um, the, you know, the sort of sky is the limit as far as Ansible is concerned great stuff anyway that's enough for today